Welcome to the Archaeology Studio. Today's episode considers how to prepare for a job interview in archaeology. At some point, every archaeologist needs to respond to formal questions in person during a job interview. In anticipation of however those questions might be phrased, you should be ready to provide honest and direct information about what you do as an archaeologist and what you can offer in a new position. Other videos in this channel address different aspects about professional career planning, and here I will focus on how to develop a general outline in advance of a job interview. In my approach, I address the key essential points right away with my strongest attributes. I provide enough information and reference for people to know that I am honest about myself, and for anyone to check the supporting evidence. I always can expand on the details if someone will ask for me to do so. Now, I will offer an example from my perspective and you can consider how to modify according to your own experience. As a landscape archaeologist, my research throughout the Asia-Pacific region has followed a framework from my 2016 book, Archaeological Landscape Evolution. According to the back cover, landscapes have been fundamental to the human experience worldwide and throughout time. Yet. How did we as human beings evolve or co-evolve with our landscapes? By answering this question, we can understand our place in the complex, ever-changing world that we inhabit. In search of knowledge about archaeological landscape evolution, so far I have traveled across a large part of the globe and through the records of several millennia. I personally can talk about discovering the oldest sites on ancient seashores of the remote Pacific Islands, dated around 1500 BC, all the way through studying the birthplace of the historical Hawaiian Kingdom in the late AD 1700s. I have completed more than 100 projects in areas of Polynesia, Melanesia, Micronesia, Island Southeast Asia, East Asia, and coastal California. Building on my 2016 framework, my publication record shows more books and a steady flow of peer-reviewed scientific journal articles in high-ranked journals with the Web of Science Citation Index. Perhaps my strongest impact in the academic literature was my 2018 book, Archaeology of Pacific Oceania, that offered a holistic view and narrative of Pacific Islands archaeology. This book was recognized in the Choice Outstanding Academic Titles for the year 2018, overseen by the Association of College and Research Libraries. Among more than half a million academic books published in all research fields during 2018, about 6,000 of those titles were reviewed by Choice, and only 10% of those books were selected as Choice Outstanding Academic Titles. My central research theme has concentrated on unifying natural and cultural histories of landscapes. Through my investigations in diverse island and coastal settings, I have reconstructed how people have adapted, sometimes successfully and other times unsuccessfully, with change in sea level, geological terrain, habitat ecology, and cultural contexts through long timescales. My goal has been to learn as much as I can about how people in the past have coped with whatever challenges they may have faced both socially and environmentally. As you can imagine, these real-life examples of success and failure from the past can be uniquely instructive for overcoming the challenges that we face today. At this stage in my career, I am attracted to work in a vibrant and future-thinking academic program. Toward this goal, I have developed a research plan that brings my contributions into an international scholarship and global relevance. Most recently, I have initiated a new project of paleolandscapes in archaeology, 
lessons for the past and future. In addition to my own work, other international authors are collaborating with me. The result is a wide-ranging set of independent examples from all around the world showing how my model of archaeological landscape evolution from my 2016 book can guide the modern world toward more sustainable environmental policies now and into the future. This effort is proceeding toward its first formal publication that realistically will need another year to go into print. Already, though, I can see the potential for more books, international workshops, professional conferences, and ideally new student thesis projects. At your convenience, I will be happy to expand with more details of my qualifications and to discuss more of what I can offer in your program. In concluding this episode, now you can start to think about how you would prepare for a job interview. You can consider the strengths of what you already have done in your career, leading to your preparation for a new position. If you can develop a comfortable outline of your qualifications, then you can continue to update and clarify throughout your career. Please remember to subscribe to this channel, tell your friends about it, and see new videos every month with the Archaeology Studio.